It's just beginning. Honestly, because you know, oh man, it's getting pretty dangerous. Who the hell is in my mouth though? Stick in your mouth, that, that's how we do it here. In our mouth. Believe it or not. Boom! 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 Okay, said he river. And so in the ancient Jamar times, there was a there was a nice in the ancient Jamar village down there. It was called Akbi. So it was it was destroyed by the Spanish, I believe, in 1674. After after um, the Chamorros there killed the priest that was stationed in their village. So yeah. All right, let's go. All right, we're going let's that. Do it. All right, that's where we I felt, I rolled, I, I hit you. Oh, I'm sorry. We're at the river. Yeah. Awesome. Are there snakes here? Kick that spot back there. Yeah, you had a wipe off. You had a wipe off. <laughs> oh no, there's a mosquito pull over me. I have bug spray. Get it too late, but I have it. Can, can I have some, please? Yes. Oh, do it. I'm in the car, never mind. It's in the car. Oh my god, you're weak. They're like albino, right? Albino. Man, like these mosquitoes are gonna eat up my scabs. Dude, mosquitoes eat scabs. <laughs> but now we're in a completely different ecosystem. Now we're in the the river. So now you'll see completely different types of trees. There was no coconut trees on the hill. Now there's a lot of coconut trees here. One of the most important trees that you'll see here is the pogo tree which is a, a wild hibiscus tree and that's a very good wood that ancient Chamorros used for making the what is it called? the outrigger so ancient so when i say city city was an ancient Chamorro village it Chamorros didn't live up there because there's nothing up there for them but down here when we as we walk along the river we'll see that there's there would have been plenty for them to eat or for them to use and this is a much better place to live If you see a large concentration of a certain type of plant or fruit, it's, po it's very possible that that's left over from a plantation that ancient Chamorros had hundreds of years ago. So nobody has lived in Sedi since 1674. Oh yeah? So, but every once in a while, so this is a bamboo area. And then further up ahead you'll see a pugwa. There's a pugwa plantation where it's just an island full of pugwa trees. And then later on there's, bam there's banana. Well, there's a recent banana plantation. Where's bug spray? You, you can eat the food. Yeah. If you find the banana out here, you can eat it. I have one in my bag. So one thing about bamboo is that it grows really, really fast. And so if you need to build something really quickly, and you need a lot of it, you can always use bamboo. One of the nice uses of bamboo is that if you see the joints in the bamboo, if you cut the bamboo in a certain way, you can use the joint the area between the joints is a thermos. So even tomorrow's up until before World War II, they would, on your ranch, you would cut a piece of bamboo in such a way and then you would fill it with tuba or you would fill it with water and then you would take it with you to your ranch. It was called a, a bongo. This is so cool. We're walking through the river. You can see the river. Here's my shoes. They are soaking wet. <laughs> this is a beautiful coconut tree. Fucking hungry, dude. And oh, 
There's more beautiful coconut trees. And down is a river leading to our bay called Fetty Bay. There we are at Fetty Bay. <laughs> Looks like we have made it, unless I am wrong. Okay, so congratulations, you guys made it to Chandler Bay. Yeah. Yeah. And so over there, you have the Spanish Bridge. So Chandler Bay was an ancient royal settlement, and so soon I'm going to take where we want to go back over there so we can see some ladders. There's still some ladders standing back Whoa. over there. Um, but this bridge was built by the Spanish because this, uh, this right here used to be where the road was about um, 300 years ago. So the road from from United North, it would come along here. So obviously the road has disappeared, but the bridge is still there. And it was obviously put together very well because it's still standing. A lot of other things that the Spanish built fell apart because of earthquakes and typhoons. Yeah. <laughs> but so, it's called Sella or Sedja now, it used to be called Sid Sidja. That's the first time I wrote down, S-I-D-Y-A, Sidja. And so it was, it was, it, it was famous for having the only um, female leader of a village that the Spanish ever wrote down. As we talked about in class, the Spanish never really talked about women at all, and they never really they never really said any of their names. And for this woman, they didn't say her name either, but they did recognize in one letter that that Sidra had a woman who was the leader of the village. And the only reason that they did mention her is actually because she was she was somebody who organized the village for the Spanish, and so she organized people to basically report and kill. <laughs> rebellious tomorrow and then turn their, uh, turn their heads into the Spanish. <laughs> so it's kind of sad that the only woman that the Spanish talk about ends up being somebody who is a collaborator. But yeah, get some shots of the <laughs> 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 